now from downtown Cleveland and Progressive Field. We got a bit of a wet one coming at you. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Cleveland Guardians. First now, pitch coming your way your next. 2022 Cleveland Guardians. Here in Cleveland, and now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Left-hand hitter waits. Count is two and one. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. And here it comes. And that's ball four. Nope. ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Got the bat going too one soon. It's strike Good two. Man. And now it's one and two. And that oh, one man. just missed off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 2-2 two -two now. In the air on the infield, Bradley under it. He's got it. And there's one away. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Next pitch has popped up. Makes the grab for the second out. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Batting four, the right fielder. Frazier off of first with two away. And a count one and two. And now two and two. Here comes a pitch. That one hit to right. Makes the play, and it's out number three. of the first so in now for Cleveland Miles Straw the why to kick the pitch that's where you want it. it's a good miss lined and that's a base hit That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they... Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. There's a ball. Throw save. That's a stolen base. And a pitch. Runner goes again. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. And now the lefty stays alive. Runner at third here. Nobody out. Ground ball left side. Whips it across. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Here's Jose Ramirez. And Cleveland on top one zip. One down, base is empty. And that's down and away. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And he grounds one back up the middle in plenty of time to first. And Ramirez is set down. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Hit hard, that gets through. Well, 
Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so right. much more likely to get something you can handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. The next offering misses, and the count's even at two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Drops into the glove, and that is the inning. now at Progressive Field. Second inning set to go. And stepping in for the Mariners, A. Eugenio Suarez. Next offering is foul back. Got him. And that's the first out. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now at the plate, Julio Rodriguez. And a pitch. The 3 2 oh, is ball. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Left field, and that is a foul ball. One out, runners at first and second. two down now it's Tom Murphy two and one now two aboard on the ground to third they get the force and that is that welcome back now it's Oscar Mercado we talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Next pitch is outside. And he deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. It bangs off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. And I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter when you grind out a hit like that. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. You just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. Cleveland up around looking for more. Got him swinging. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Austin Hedges stands in. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there are two outs. Here's Bradley Zimmer. The pitch. Check swing. Went around, and it's one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Two, two now. And a swing and a miss. And that is the third out of the inning. On 
of the third inning. And now Adam Frazier. We haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking and wondering when they're going to stop play. It definitely feels close. Base knock right field. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Next pitch is popped up. Jimenez settles under it and makes the catch. One away. Jesse Winker up next for the Mariners. First time up was a pop out. On a line, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Next to hit, Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. And now it's even up. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And the righty deals. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. The 2 1. Just foul of third. Two 2 down. And a foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Rosario. Over to first. And that'll do it. Set for the bottom of the third. Stepping up for the Guardians. Miles Straw. 1-1 one, one now. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Murphy pulls that one down. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And a 3-2. And that one fouled off. Here comes a 3-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Stays alive. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now it's Jose Ramirez. The switch hitter batting right. Line drive, base hit. Two down, Fran Mil Reyes getting ready to hit. Ray throw to first. Ramirez back on a dive. Three two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's the inning. Back here in Cleveland as we go to the top of the fourth. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Righty delivers. And he pumps it a strike. 
He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And that one lifted in the air center field. Straw makes the play, and there's one down. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two out. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's going to be Jared Kellner. The wind and the pitch. Just missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. A dive. Nice stop. On the money. Nice play. Bottom of the fourth. And now it's Bobby Bradley. Bradley waits. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And here is Oscar Mercado. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Here's Andres Jimenez. His first at bat was a strikeout. Next pitch misses inside, and a count two and one. Runner leads away at second. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two two now. The other way. Hauls it in for the out. Austin Hedges digs in for the Guardians. Struck out swinging his first time. Bradley stands at second with two gone. Two outs. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the fifth. So here's Murphy now. Right-hander kicks, deals. And down on strikes he goes. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Here's Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. And the 2-2. And that one wrapped foul. Next one misses, and it's 3-2. and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. The first 
So digging in, Ty France. And the right hander deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Next pitch is outside. Out towards right center field. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Jesse Winker. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Back to work, three, two now. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Hedges makes the catch, and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Bradley Zimmer. Ball to strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And one fouled off, two and two. Left-hand batter waits. Hit weakly on the ground. Boots it to first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. So the Guardians lineup turns over, and now the center fielder, Miles Straw. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Solo shot, and they tack one on the board. It's 2 nothing. So one out, nobody on. And stepping in is the speedy Ahmed Rosario. Next pitch, way upstairs. Got him. Now two away. Two outs, base is empty. Down to third baseman, Jose Ramirez. One for two. And the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Stays alive. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Next offering is fouled back. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. Inning over. And welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. And a 1-1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count. Up against it with two strikes right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. And there's one down. And up next for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Three balls, one strike. Tying run at the plate. Fouls one away, and now three and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. That one.
one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The kick, the 3 2. Fouled off again, and it remains 3 and 2. And there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Next one is off the plate, and it's two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And here it comes. Maybe a two ball. Five. Tags the runner for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Eric Swanson will take over here. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Fran Mil Reyes. The 2-2. That one is upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And yeah, the batter now, Bobby Bradley. You and I got a chance to broadcast the 2019 All-Star Game, and the city of Cleveland did such a great job. I felt like wherever you turned there was some type of ad for the all-star game a face of one of the players playing in the game I thought the city overall supported the event really well and down on strikes two down and up next for cleveland oscar mercado this is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively chris and when you talk about preventing runs from being scored this guy is a big contributor. Yeah, and I think the players uh, backed it up from the home run derby and the show that was put on between well, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonzo, and others. It was off the charts. And then the game is always special. When you see the best in baseball, you remember how special this game is. And to be here at this ballpark, uh, I think just was the icing on the cake. At the play, Andres Jimenez. Hanniger settles under it. Brings it in for the third out. Back now at Progressive Field. Here's Jerry Kelnick. Next offering is in for a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's the first out the top of the seventh. And now for Seattle, Tom Murphy. Next offering is way upstairs. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and deals. Pulls that one foul. The two two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's the second baseman, Adam Frazier. And the pitch. And now two balls and a strike. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much out. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning.
So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Sergio Romo. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Here in Cleveland, set for the last half of the seventh. Austin Hedges now. Next offering is down low. Ball two. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. The punch out there. So Hedges is gone. Here's a speed threat. Bradley Zimmer. The one two and he grounds one to the right side and it gets by him good two strike hitting right there Boog a bit of a lost start for some so that was nicely done to beat the odds he kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole and now Miles Straw Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Just a weak fly ball this time. Crawford pulls it down, and there's two down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of them that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. throw over to first and he's back in easily Zimmer off of first with two away next one is off the play and it's two and two now if he's going to steal second you want him to go early in the count that way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch that to right and he makes the catch and that will end the inning Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Shaw. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. We go to the eighth, and stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. So now one and two. I'll tell you this. That's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. That one to first. Bradley gloves it. Got him on the off-balance throw. One up, one down. Jesse Winker, the next to hit. The designated hitter, Jesse Next offering is in for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Mitch Hanniger will hit next. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. And they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Hanniger into second, and he's got a double. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. 
Man at second. Lined, and that's a base hit. Here's Hanniger on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. It's 2-1. Two, two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Anthony goes, gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. So a change being made at first base. Pinch running here, Billy Hamilton. Two outs, runner on first. J.P. Crawford now at the plate. And a pinch. In there. And so now one and two. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. That one fouled off. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And now a man into scoring position. Man on second, two down. And that one sliced foul. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. And a pitch. On the ground at first. Off balance throw in time. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Dylan Moore now in the game as he takes over third. Now playing third base. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Three two now. Right through there, got him. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. And next is the designated hitter, Fran Mil Reyes. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And a foul ball, he stays alive. This one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Fran Mill Reyes goes deep, and they add on. It's 3-1. One. one down, and here's the first baseman, Bobby Bradley. One for three. Going to count one and two. pitch and that one almost got him two two that one ripped right center field and gone they do it again back to back homers and they add to the lead it's 4-1 new pitcher on now Andres Munoz it's his job to keep his team in the game. Here's the left fielder, Oscar Mercado. And the righty deals. Ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. Righty delivers. He swings and fouls one off. Two two down. Stays alive. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez.
the one one that's through there for a strike this guy absolutely flies the defense wants to turn two but they've got to get a ball they can do it with make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing pitch misses and it's two and two move to first back in safe really close Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Man at first. And here's the catcher. Austin Hedges. The 1-1. Upstairs. I got two on the count. Righty to the plate. That one drifts inside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The one-two. Swings and misses. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen, trying to protect this lead. Number 48. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now here is Julio Rodriguez. The 1-1. There's a strike. Well, wow, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Next offering upstairs. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Digging in, Jared Kelnick. Jared. And he deals. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Grabs it barehanded to first. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. Tied him up really well with that pitch inside. Couldn't get it out of the infield, but somehow turns it into a nog. That's a thing of beauty, and some hits just don't make sense. And the right hater deals on the ground. Rosario one. Back to first, double play. And that's the ball game. What an exciting finish to this game. An amazing play right there. It's hard for the fans to go home. They want more. They're not ready to leave and head to their cars. But an outstanding job to keep entertaining all the way to the end. 4-1 the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.